Hi, are you being asked about questions like data warehouses, data lakes, data marts, databases, what are the key differences, how each one of them is different from each other, what each one of them plays a role in an industry, which one to use, which one not to use. If you are asked about these questions in your interview, then this video is definitely for you. Well, these topics were not that important going back into 2018, 19 or 2020. But right now with all the interviews that are being conducted in the space of data analytics, companies have started questions related to these topics as well. Because as a data analyst, ultimately, you will be working with the data cleaning part, you will be working with the data warehouses, data lakes and all those things. So I hope everybody knows about a database. But in this video, let's go ahead and learn something about data warehouses, data lakes and data marts. In case you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Till then, see you in the video. Now let's talk about a database. What is a database? A database is a storage location of related data used to capture a specific situation. Database have a variety of flavors, structured, relational, relational database management systems or unstructured data structures known as NoSQL. New data coming into the database is processed, organized, managed, updated and then stored in tables. Databases are single purpose repositories of raw transactional data. Because the database is closely tied with transactions, a database performs online transactional processing which is called as OLTP. Some of the main characteristics of databases are structure according to company operations and applications, rigid rules set around data storage or organization, flexible data storage, single purpose in its nature, handles one process, utilized for online transactional processing, data recording capabilities, capturing transactions as they occur and housing those transactions. Let's try to get into a data warehouse. What exactly is a data warehouse? A data warehouse is a system used to store and analyze large amounts of data from multiple sources, such as databases and other systems. It is commonly used in business intelligence to enable data analysis and generate reports. The data warehouse uses the extract transfer load ETL or extract load transform ELT process to clean, normalize and integrate data from multiple sources. It is typically organized using SQL tables, indexes, keys, views and data types to ensure data integrity and organization. Data warehouses are used for online analytical processing OLAP and are considered best practice for business user interaction, leaving databases to capture transactional data. Some of the characteristics of data warehouse are it stores large quantities of historical data. So old data is not erased when the new data is updated, captures data from multiple disparate databases works with ODS to house normalized clean data, OLAP, online analytical processing application, the primary data source for data analytics, and it is also used for reports and dashboard creations. Most of the companies using business intelligence solutions, they usually prefer working with data warehouses. Lastly, let's talk about data lakes. What are data lakes and how data lakes are different from data warehouse? A data lake is a large scale repository for storing raw and processed data from multiple data sources. It is used to capture and store anything deemed valuable for future use, including images, videos, PDFs and other unstructured and structured data. Data lakes are used for data analytics and report creation and often employ complex applications and technologies such as Java for processing and analysis. Additionally, data lakes are used in conjunction with machine learning and AI, storing the output of machine learning and AI tests for further analysis. To properly leverage a data lake, users must have experience with programming languages and data science techniques, as well as the ability to clean and process the data without relying on an operational data store. 
Some of the main characteristics of data lakes are it collects all data from many disparate data sources over an extended period, meets the needs of various users in the organization, it is uploaded without an established methodology, processes and cleans data and stores it in a data lake. Talking about data warehouse. In this architecture you can see there are databases, data warehouse and data marts which are working together. The databases each represent a single transactional source. An ETL process is performed preparing the data to send to the operational data store ODS. The ODS processes the data for the data warehouse. From the data warehouse, subject specific limited data sets are fed to the various data marts. In simple terms, data marts are small storages containing different types of data. For example, in a company, you have transactional data, finance data, operations data. The entire data is being stored in the data warehouse, but when we pass it to the data mart, data mat individually contains all this information. One of the data mats could be containing operational data, one of them could be containing sales data, one of them could be containing finance data and so on. Finally, from the data mats, reports and dashboards are created. While the diagram does not show it, reports and dashboards can be made directly from the data warehouse as well. Let's talk about the data lake architecture. The data lake represents an all-in-one process. Data comes from disparate sources. It could be databases, various raw data from images, etc. The data lake process is circular. The ETL process is performed in the data lake and the clean data is then stored inside the data lake. The clean data sets become the source for reports and dashboards. Lastly, let's talk about the differences between data warehouse and data lakes. Some of the key differences are a data lake stores all the data for the organization. A data warehouse will store clean data for creating structured data models and reporting. Data lakes utilize different hardware that allows for cost effective terabyte and petabyte storage. Data warehouses typically use an ODS from transactional systems. A data lake will extract data from all data types including non-traditional data types like web server logs, social network activity, sensor data, etc. Data warehouses are for operational users that need to generate reports for analytics. A data lake is for deep analysis that goes beyond the stored data of a data warehouse. Because data lakes store raw data that can be accessed and searched before it has been cleansed or structured, a user can retrieve results faster. However, this is dependent upon the skill set of the user as well. These concepts are complex and I'm sure you must have got a little bit idea about these concepts. In case you still have any questions related to databases, data warehouses, data lakes, data marts, what is the staging environment, production environment, any questions related to this, please let me know in the comment section below and I will revert back with the answers. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.